am making uh, an apology video again. Um, I think uh, something like that happened a couple of months ago. I accidentally disrespected uh, Don Larry Mazza, uh, distinguished gentleman. Um, and I knew that after the Cowboys lost to uh, Frisco uh, last week that uh, uh, Don Mazza would be very disappointed. So I tuned in to the game plan uh, show. And um, I was thinking about that uh, he uh, is sort of like the mascot of the NFL. And so he would be a perfect uh, team name, you know, the Larrys or the Lawrences, kind of like Lawrence Taylor, one of the greatest uh, NFL players of the 1980s and of all time, um, as the Washington uh, football team name, the Washington Larrys, and uh, I was just trying to be funny, and uh, I, I uh, you know, I'm in one of those um, Luca uh, Brazil Brazzi moments, you know, like the beginning scene of uh, the movie The Godfather, Luke Brazzi and uh, Don Corleone. Anyways, um, I went in to sort of be apologetic. It reminds me of when I was learning to drive, uh, when I first got my license, I was driving with my grandpa in his Honda Accord, 1991 Honda Accord. Um, was it a Mazda? No, it was a Honda Accord. Uh, it's a very distinctive uh, engine sound. Anyways, uh, at a stop sign, a four-way stop sign, I sort of ran the stop sign, um, and I, I don't, I mean like, when I pulled up to the stop sign, I was like very hesitant, there were other cars like waiting on me to go, and I went like ahead of my turn, and my grandpa kind of waved at the other cars like, sorry, he's, he's slow, like he's slow in the head, and I took that offensively, I was like, are you telling me I don't know how to drive? Like, like grandpa, I've been playing video games, Gran Turismo. Grand Theft Auto, driving games, like I know how to drive from these simulators. And so I took that very offensively. And that's sort of like what I went into this to sort of apologize on behalf of the Cowboys losing to San Francisco. That's not to mention though, um, I was going to ask uh, uh, Lindblom and Mazza if they knew about Rudolph Valentino. He was a movie star uh, in the 1920s. Uh, in the silent film era, like when Hollywood first got started. Um, you know, the legend goes that Elvis Presley himself took his persona in movies from Rudolph Valentino, Italian-American, and everyone sort of hated on uh, both Presley and Valentino in a similar way because guys, the average guy wouldn't be able to accomplish, you know, guys sort of go along as a mob, as a group, we all do the same thing. And if someone does something so spectacular and impossible, like Mission Impossible type thing, uh, stunts, no average guy wants to do that. So that's why I always try to um, um, mute my colors and sort of do st only things that I think everyone will be able to do, who's not disabled, of course. Anyway, so here I am apologizing again. Uh, I don't know if I'll email them this video. I'm going to go ahead and upload it to YouTube, maybe Facebook also. Uh, so this is what I'm replying to. What's so funny is <clears throat> uh, the song Bling Bling was just made fun of in Saturday Night Live's sketch from last week. Uh, they made a fake song called It's On Me. And now I'm hearing... Um, from the Dallas rap artist, uh, it's a, that's a song called It's On Me, and I can't think of his name right now, uh, Big Shot, I don't know, I, it's a great song, it was all over the radio a couple of years ago, anyways, Put It Down On Me is the more like uh, national, international, uh, larger song that they're making fun of, but in Bling Bling, uh, Birdman says, you know, um, uh, Rolex bezeled up, uh, pinky rings, platinum plus, uh, grilled be slugged up, uh, uh, earrings, trillion cut, heart filled with anger, you know, they made fun of that, and it's uh, Kel from Keenan and Kel, the Nickelodeon show, he's one of the greatest SNL cast members, uh, he said, he's like, diamonds on my neck, ten diamond rings, uh, 
bins from my house, house from my bins. And it's just outrageous. Outrageously funny. Like, I broke into laughter watching that. So definitely check that out. Uh, but what's funny is about Limbloom is his name is sort of like the word gambling. That's what the bling bling from um, the song bling bling is like gambling. Every time I come around your city, gambling. And it fits perfectly into Limbloom's uh, name, like blimp or blind or bling. Gambling bloom. Anyways, that's all. Um, so I made a reference to Alvin, Sergeant York, um, uh, Gunnar Allen, you know, uh, his name is also Al. I found out a whole lot of interesting things about uh, Sergeant York. Um, his, like, family had founded this place called Paul Mall. Paul Mall is featured in the movie Goodfellas and some of the introductory scenes of uh, Henry Hill and... Um, Tommy Two Guns, uh, so what a son of a gun. Anyways, I'm just joking. Um, I don't know. I could go on and on. I have to go to the Wikipedia. Um, Alvin York, like I found that when I was searching for John Belushi 1941 movie, the results that it pulled up was this uh, Sergeant York movie from actual the actual year 1941. So, anyways, um, I'm sort of rambling now. Um, I'll just show the part that I'm... I him out, or he taps out, one or the other. If I don't get that from him, then that, I could be hurt or injured. I'm that's scared, me right man. there. I don't want to get hurt. I want to come home to my wife. Now, if it's an exhibition, and they're just like, hey, let's go in there and play with Jake Paul. We're playing. Right, <laughs> oh. right, right. The Paul brothers. So, <clears throat> we have an in uh, to set up a fight between uh, the Paul brothers from Cleveland, uh, Logan and Jake Paul. Um, they're from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, what else? So one of them is was dating Jose Canseco's daughter. I found this out watching uh, uh, DJ Vlad. You know, Vlad wrong vlogs are too long. Uh, uh, Vladimir, DJ Vladimir. Anyways, um, so Jose Canseco himself, one of the greatest uh, MLB players of the 80s and 90s, uh, along with Mark McGuire. You know, they had the uh, Kind of like the space race, the, the race for home runs. Anyways, uh, his daughter herself was dating one of the Paul bros. So in sort of matchmaker form, we'd be able to set up the matchmaking on the boxing and as far as relationships goes as well uh, on that end. Uh, so that's our in as far as that goes. Um, and... Oh, so when uh, Don... Diesel over here said something about uh, uh, Jake Paul Mall. It does sort of remind me of Paul Mall because that's where uh, Alvin York is from. Here's that part about the Washington football team. Yeah. He's back uh, if he's yeah. quietly. Okay. That's what it reminds me of is uh, um, not the guess who's back. That's without me, Eminem and uh, Dr. Dre song in Eminem's first initial song. Eminem's from Motown, from Detroit. Um, in his first song, Hi, My Name Is, uh, he says, Dr. Dre said, Slim Shady, you a bass head. Nuh-uh, man, why is your face red? That's red skin, right? Why is your face red? Anyways, um, <clears throat> I also have that whatever, I don't know if it's from Too Much Sun, uh, not using sunscreen, whatever, uh, having a blushed face and stuff. Um, I actually quit a job in an Amazon warehouse because someone was like, why is your face so red? Like, what's up with that? You need to, like, like you're not cool. You need to chill out. Anyways, um, and there was another thing that I was just going to mention just now. Well, what Limbloom says, he tells a story of at a Kid Rock party. I think he just means he was at a bar working as a bouncer and, well, I'm not going to call him a liar because uh, Lindblom's stories, even though they sound outrageous, they're like 90 to 100% true. And uh, what he says is, 
Well, what I'm just imagining as he's telling the story is it's just a regular bar fight and uh, Kid Rock's song had set off the fight. The song Ball with the Ball, it's a fighting song. Anyways, um, so what else? Anyways. You don't hear about it. Like if it was, that was another winner of ours. Like, let me just say again, like, I went into this video to be, sort of be apologetic. I knew um, Don Mazza would be disappointed that the Cowboys lost to San Francisco last week. Um, so I sort of, like, when my grandpa was teaching me to drive, he was, like, apologizing to the other drivers. He's like, sorry, my grandson is not very smart in the head. And I was, like, I was taking offense to that. Uh, I'm trying not to do that. Uh, but, like, you know... San Francisco does have some uh, redeeming qualities. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say, though? Oh, it's the referee's fault. So the referees uh, were sort of like, you know, uh, I don't know. They just weren't, I don't, I don't know if they were, their, their head was all there when the, when the game ended. You know, it's just the word on the street. Um... You know, the game plan, what it is, is that uh, not only could we bribe the refs, but we could bribe the rule makers. Like, you know, if, if the refs are getting too greedy. In the course of a game by himself. There's always somebody, you go way back to Lawrence Taylor. He could control yeah, okay. the just, Yeah. So, you know, that game, I'm, I'm liking the Rams. I think Fournette is coming back to Tampa Bay. He's in practice, which is big. Uh, but stick with about the Washington's new name. Well, Lawrence Taylor is a voice actor from uh, GTA Vice City. The main character actor is Ray Liotta. He's also the main character of the movie Goodfellas. What yeah. is it? Well, that's because I got a red face. I get it. Well, no, they're changing to the Redskins. They're talking about changing oh, the name to the Redskins. So they use my face, which is usually red from being a pro. All right. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, I'm disappointed in myself, you know. I, I went in to be apologetic and ended up being offensive, and it's not the first time. So, anyways, uh, that's my video. Um, definitely check out their uh, channels and stuff. That's all.